back, relax, and maybe get yourself a snack. Me and you gonna have a little chat about books. Hey guys, so I'm here today to do the third part of my anticipated releases video. This is going to be focusing on books from May onwards. Let's get started. The first book comes out on the 17th of May and it is Grey Sister, sequel to Red Sister by Mark Lawrence. I really enjoyed Red Sister. I thought it was a really excellent book and it is my favourite of Mark Lawrence's that I've read to date. It focuses on a nunnery where loads of girls are raised as nuns but also as assassins. It's got a lot of really interesting visual magic that I could really vividly see and it's got some great character moments with women. Women. I really liked it. It is a bit bloodthirsty as most of his books are because it's kind of grimdarky but I loved it and I thought it was excellent and I really really want to see what happens to our main character Nora next. Coming out on the 31st of May I have a sequel which is called Legendary and is by Stephanie Garber. This is the sequel to Caraval which I read I think at the very start of 2017 and I loved Caravelle. It's a YA book that focuses on a very dark mysterious circus type place. Young children get called to the circus and have to complete all sorts of strange tasks. There is a ringleader who's behind the scenes, there's a lot of magic and mystery there, there is a little bit of romance too but one thing I loved was the amount of sheer surprises and plot twists that this book had that completely blew me away. I loved the sort of atmosphere that it had, it was very reminiscent of The Night Circus and I think it's going to be a great sequel so I'm looking out for that on the 31st of May. The next one I have on my list comes out in June and it's actually the only June title I have at the moment so let me know if you know any more. It comes out on the 14th and it's called Shattermoon by Dominic Dully. He is, I believe, a debut author. I believe it follows a young woman called Ori who steals a pendant that she doesn't really know the significance of until a really notorious space pirate comes after her and tracks her down. However, it turns out that this pendant was actually one that was created by a species from long, long ago who are very powerful and mysterious and so she really should not have stolen this pendant. And so Ori has to enlist the help of her friends, an inexperienced young grifter, a space dog and an obsolete spaceship against the Imperial fleet which is coming after her. And also somehow in the background of all this there is an alien race called the Cadrian who are getting a bit bored of the peace that they have with humanity. It sounds like it's going to be a pretty fun sci-fi and I'm definitely intrigued about this one as it is a debut so yeah one to watch out for. Moving on to July the first one I have for that is The Calculating Stars by Mary Robin Quell. I've read a couple of Mary's books, I've read the Glamorous History series and I read the Lady Astronaut in Space novella and this series or at least this first book is based on the Lady Astronaut in Space. It's set in a world where a meteorite comes out of nowhere and smashes into Earth which means there is a drastically accelerated timeline for humans to be able to escape into space and they have to try and do this with the help of many new and not necessarily stereotypical people getting involved. There is a chance for women and people who wouldn't normally be asked to get involved in the planning and escape from the planet and one of these new recruits into the space race is Elmer York. However when she sees just how many talented young women there are who are helping her to try and put the first man on the moon Elma doesn't really understand, besides from thousands of years of history and a host of expectations about what the fairer sex can do, she doesn't really see the reason they can't go into space too. And yet Elma's drive to become the first lady astronaut will take her places and it seems that this story is going to be a little bit of a feminism in space one, which I am happy with. The next one comes out on the 12th of July and this is called Bloody Rose by Nicholas Eames. It is I believe a follow-up to The Wild Kings of the Wild which came out in 2017 and was a humorous, gritty, silly story. I just read this one, I enjoyed it a lot but I believe the sequel might be more up my alley because I think it follows a slightly different band of heroes and it has more female main characters according to the author as well which is definitely something I was a little disappointed in the first one and much more happy about in the second so I'm really anticipating this. I do hope it will maintain the sort of funny crude attitude of the first 
and I think it will and I think it's going to be good. Coming out on the 26th of July I have some really exciting books, the first of which is A Record of a Spaceborn Few by Becky Chambers. This is the third book in her series and I believe it's another sort of companion-y one. I really enjoy this series, I've loved both of the previous books in it. I don't know anything more about it because I tend to find when I love an author I don't really read the blurb of their next book, I just buy it because I think it's going to be for me. And I'm pretty sure this is going to happen with this book too. I'm really excited about it and I can't wait to read what Becky Chambers has done next because she always manages to surprise and excite me with her work. The other one coming out on the 26th of July that I'm really excited about is Chris Wooding's new book The Ember Blade. I heard him talk about this whilst I was at um, Nine Worlds last year and it sounded like it was going to be really really fun from some of the ideas he was talking about. I definitely think that Chris Wooding is an author that more people should read and I really want to see his big epic fantasy in this series so I think it's the first one in the series. I'm looking forward to just diving in. I think it's going to be a pretty massive book as well from the sounds of it so should be good fun. That one also comes out on the 26th of July. And finally the other one I have for July is The Descent of Monsters by Jai Yang. This is a Tor.com novella which is in the Tensorate universe and I don't really know anything more about it than that. I have read the first two Tor.com novellas in this universe by this author and I really enjoyed them and I certainly think that it's one to watch because this author deals with non-binary genders and with LGBTQ plus characters and romances really really well in a superb cool fantasy setting. I definitely think this will be worth picking up whenever it does come out and hopefully according to Goodreads it will be 31st of July. So that is going to be the end of this part of the video. I'm then going to do a part four which is going to be all the books coming out from August to November that I have on my list which is not so many because actually not everything has been announced for the second half of the year. Mostly it's just the first half of the year but with that said, um, I do have quite a few on my list that are scheduled for 2018 but haven't been announced exactly when so I'm assuming they'll be in the later half of the year and I'm going to quickly run through those as well for you in that video. So do go and check out part four when it's out but in the meantime you can go back and watch part two and part one because I will have links to those down below. Do let me know all your thoughts on the books I've just mentioned and whether you'll be picking any of them up. Are there any that I've missed for the months I've just listed? Thank you all for watching and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye guys! Thank you for watching my video today Go pick up a book, then come back and chat with me again